what's up guys so today we are about to review and set up this old steamer zini hair steamer y'all if you are a natural girl and you don't have this steamer you are tripping but let's go ahead and get into this video okay guys so let's go ahead and get right into how to set this bad boy up because i was confused as well but guys so this is how the package came it did not come in a brown box this is exactly the form that it came in now my box was a little messed up like it had a hole in the bottom but it did not mess up the product so i was okay with it so guys it came in this styrofoam type of thing um and guys do not be rough with the top because some of the pieces are actually inside of the top of the styrofoam but we'll see that later so guys you open it up like this and it's gonna have the actual headset piece in here along with the actual steamer um in there and it comes with these two flaps on the side those are um protectors so that we don't get burned when using these products y'all so i'm very excited about that so guys yeah i'm gonna just sit this to the side and we're gonna go ahead and review the headpiece so y'all the headpiece came with this little foam thing on the inside take that out because at first i wasn't sure but i'm like yeah that part definitely comes out so guys i unwrapped it and I took out the foam piece that was on the inside of it. Guys, this is a good steamer, y'all. I cannot wait to show y'all me using this steamer. Anyway, y'all, so like I said, take the piece out of the steamer. Um, Do not leave it in. It's, it's foam. So now, as you can see, they have little holes at the top of the headpiece. Um, and it's made out of plastic. Um, they have holes at the top of the headpiece to let the steam out if need be. But you can close those holes if need be. So anyway, so now at the top of the foam piece, these are the connectors at the top of the foam. Um, this one is for the neck of the hair steamer. And then this one that is on the bottom is for the face steamer um because it's a two-in-one steamer which i love okay so we're going to go ahead and take these pieces out and then we're going to go ahead and assemble this so y'all this like i said is a steamer and the two flaps on the side are the protectors so you don't get burned by the heat when i tell y'all this thing gets really really hot y'all i learned the hard way so i'm going to go ahead and just take the flaps off the side of it and um close them so you guys can see what it looks like and these are the two flaps where you can turn it on and off this is where the water goes um and you have to take the foam thing out of there for the water to go in but i'll show you that later so now we are about to look at the neck of it and look at the facial steam neck as well these parts are very important guys Okay guys, so now we're gonna set this up as if we're doing the steamer first. Mind you, these two little prongs on the side go in a certain way, so you have to turn it sideways and then screw it, and then it's secured on there. Um, so this is what the face steamer looks like. You can use this for your face, facial treatments, all of that. So that's what that stencil is for. Now to remove it, you just turn it to the side and pop it up, just like that, real simple real easy okay so now we are going to set it up as if we are using it as a steamer so you're gonna have to put the neck of the steamer which is that little rubber part that i'm showing you right here um you're going to want to put that part into the back of the dryer which is that little gray piece right there you want to stick it in there and it's really gushy and really um movable so you guys can easily get it in there so now you are going to want to take these two pieces and slide it in they go in really easy no hassle and you want to do it on the other side as well um and it goes in real simple real easy so now now you want to go ahead and take this last little circle in the back and you want to go ahead and slide it into the front part of the steamer um so guys that is the headpiece sideways but that's the part that goes into the actual steamer guys so you screw it in there and you just slide it down real simple real easy and it's very sturdy so that's the best part about this is this was a cheap product but it was really really sturdy so now we are about to put the water into this and actually use the steamer 
Now, guys, pay attention to this part because I was confused. This is where the water goes. You're going to have to remove the rubber stencil that was in there and put the water inside of this hole. Um, there is a maximum level of the water, which is indicated on the front of the steamer. It lets you know how much water needs to go in there. And I learned the hard way, y'all. Do not fill this thing all the way up. It will bubble over and there was no other way to take the water out so guys now we're just gonna turn this bad boy on and let it get to cooking now it's gonna take some time for it to actually heat up as you can see over time i just continued to wait and this is what it looks like and as you can see the steam at the top y'all it was so hot like i was like oh my god i didn't think it was gonna get this hot and it did <laughs> so um they also have a switch on here for it to be a humidifier so that's good as well so now we're going to turn it on as if it is a facial steamer now y'all i learned the hard way that this thing really gets really hot so as you know put it sideways screw it on and you have a face steamer now this one is supposed to let out steam the hotter it gets but i didn't let it get that hot and y'all do not touch it I touched it thinking it was not on and I burned myself. So guys, that is the steamer two in one. If you would like to see me use the steamer, catch the next video doing my Sunday hair steam, showing products and all. Mm -hmm.